Hey guys, how's it going? I have a whole bunch of berries that I want to get planted in this raised bed that we just built. I have a bit of a migraine today, um, so I've been trying to take it easy. I did get a few things done in the garden, but not everything that I wanted to get done today. So now that the end of the day is here, it's like 4.30, I figured I would get all of these berries planted. And I'm really excited to have these in the garden and have them be here permanently, plant them once, and that is it. So let me go over the berries that we're gonna be planting this year. First one that we have is a blackberry. This is called Baby Cakes Blackberry by Bushel and Berry. The really exciting thing about this berry is that it is thornless. So there's no thorns. You're not gonna get poked while picking off the fruit. So that's really exciting and it's not one that's gonna send out runners everywhere. This is one that stays in a very compact bush style. So that is also something that's really exciting. It's not gonna take over the garden. You can actually plant this in your landscape and be totally fine, not have to worry about blackberries coming up everywhere because that's something in California that we really deal with is blackberries just taking over. This one gets about three to four feet tall and wide. So I'm going to plant this one at the very edge of this bed and let it fill out that way and then come over a couple feet. And this is for zones four through nine. The next one that we've got is another bushel and berry. And this is a raspberry called shortcake. It is also a thornless berry. Really excited about this. It gets about two feet tall and wide. So it stays very compact and produces usually about twice per season. So that's another really exciting thing is to get berries twice in one season from this and they do produce quite a lot of berries um i don't know if i said zones four through nine and this is also one that you could plant in the landscape and it's not going to take over anywhere you're not going to get little runners coming up everywhere and it is a thorn this one also so you're not going to get stabbed by little prickly thorns as you're harvesting your raspberries the last two that we have are two of this golden raspberry Really excited about this one, but the thorns on this one are really tiny and kind of wicked looking. So that's something to kind of keep an eye out for. This one does grow about two to four feet tall and wide. I'm probably gonna keep it pruned to grow more upright instead of letting it bush out too much. I do have two of these berries and this is a zones of four through nine also. So this should be a really exciting berry to have. I heard that the berries on this are very sweet and they are a bright yellow gold color. All of these berries are going to want full, full sun, and this area does get full sun. That's why we've kind of selected this area in our garden from morning until about 5 o'clock at night. This does get, like, hot, intense sun, so this will be really great. And all of these berries are going to be able to climb up and have support from the chicken coop. I'm not going to offer any other support to them. Um, and then I'll just go back in the early spring and do all the pruning that they need. You guys can see that all the buds on these berries are starting to swell, so they're gonna break dormancy pretty soon here. So I do have this bed on drip irrigation with a control in the bed so I can turn this bed on or off while still leaving the drip to everything else on. Um, this will probably just end up staying on, except in the winter times. We'll probably turn drip on maybe every two weeks to give it a good drink and then cut back on it again. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some of the Espoma plant tone. I'm gonna dig a couple holes, put some plant tone in the holes and then just plant these guys up. This is gonna be a super quick, simple project, but I'm really excited to get berries and perennial fruit in the garden. Something that really working towards. Um, I'm not a big fruit person, but everybody else in the house really likes fruit. So it'll just be nice to have all kinds of different fruit back here that will come year after year. So the fall gold berry is one that is going to send up runners. Um, so that is why we are doing this in this bed so I can control what is happening here. I want to be able to keep this focused on just a few stems, not on a ton of stems. And I don't want this coming up throughout the entire garden. So that's why we are planting all of our berries in raised beds is so that way we don't have to deal with having to keep them under control throughout our entire garden. So 
So we have a problem with ants on this berry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hose all this soil off and kind of make this become a bare root and then I will replant it. So you can see what I did is I literally just took all the soil as much as I could off of this and then I'm going to just plant this and all of these will be runners that this plant will produce and this plant is going to be totally fine. I didn't kill this plant it'll recover from this. These berries are so um, resilient that you could take fire to them and they'll pretty much come back. So now let's go get this planted. So now that I've got the berry all rinsed off and got rid of pretty much all the ants that I could, now we're just gonna pop this guy back up into this hole and fill it back up and it'll be totally fine as if nothing even happened. Um, one of the benefits about planting right now while it's dormant is that it can just focus on all of its root growth instead of having to focus on um, keeping its foliage alive. The next one that we're going to be planting is the raspberry shortcake. Pull it out of its fruit sleeve. The roots look wonderful. And as you guys can see, compared to the um, other raspberries, the fall gold raspberries, the raspberry shortcake just has a root system. No rhizomes sending up extra little um, shoots everywhere. So that's really exciting. Let's throw a little plant tone in here. Help it with its root growth and then backfill the hole. And I am going to keep the plant tags on them. And then very last, we have the bushel and a berry baby shortcakes blackberry. Throwing in some plant tone. I love that this blackberry is thornless. Oh my gosh, the roots on this are insane. And I ended up picking these up like three months ago, four months ago from my local nursery. The best time to plant your berries really is in the fall. Um, it gives them all winter to be able to root and get used to their home, but spring is totally fine. Um, we're in zone nine, so we don't really get winter per se. The high today was 74 and right now at like five o'clock at night, it's 67 degrees. So we don't really get a real winter here. Um, so we plant berries, trees, anything pretty much year round. Um, the coldest that we have gotten was 29 degrees and that was kind of rare for us. So that is one thing that I do love about being in a zone nine is there's always bees out. There's some bees right now over on the hellebores. I just saw them. And then I can plant year round. Our soil doesn't freeze here. So excited to get these in the ground and hopefully they'll have a little bit more time to root in before the buds really start to break open. Um, this blackberry, I can see some of the leaves starting to emerge here. So we'll see, we should hopefully get blackberries this year. So yeah. So you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for visiting our garden and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.